Hello y'all, I'm Natalie King, founder and owner of Chinese Southern Belle. Today we're going to be cooking one of my favorite homestyle recipes from my mom who is from the Sichuan region of China. They love it spicy there, so we're going to make a spicy Sichuan chicken and eggplant recipe. Don't worry, if you don't want the heat you can just leave out the chili paste. This is a Chinese eggplant or sometimes called Japanese eggplant. You can tell that it's more slender in shape. The color is slightly lighter purple and the skin is actually thinner. So you don't need to skin it. We're going to use it directly in our Chinese chicken and eggplant stir fry. Red pepper or carrot is a nice color splash in your stir fry. And you will also want to cut this into strips. It's important to be consistent so you have harmony in your wok. You don't want any big chunks like this hanging around, messing up your stir fry. Now green onions is a key ingredient. It also adds nice color as well. Similar to the other vegetables, your cutting technique wants to make sure that you get some slivers, not a big chunk. No one wants to bite into a big chunk of green onion in their stir fry. So I will score my green onions so that I can get the nicer slivers. Since I'm going to be stir frying my green onion, I want it to be in a julienne shape. I also have some fresh cut yellow onion, minced garlic, fresh ginger root, naturally brewed soy sauce, about a quarter cup, this is dark roasted Asian sesame oil. Mmm, very strong nutty flavor. It is different from regular sesame oil that's a lighter color that comes in the larger containers. You can tell it's amber colored, dark brown. I only use it as a finishing oil because it's very strong, so a few drops will do. Cilantro or Chinese parsley. And this is what will give it the citron spicy kick. This is a black bean chili sauce. There's so many different kind of chili sauces out there and the Asian ones will have different blends of black bean or garlic and different kind of chilies, more or less oil. Just experiment, try one that you like. They're all gonna be fairly spicy and a little salty. But this is what's gonna give it a real authentic flavor because the black beans are usually fermented. So it'll be a fermented soybean flavor. It's the home style dimension that you want. Roasted sesame seed. Nice garnish for a lot of Asian dishes. And I actually have some dried red chilies. It'll help me season the oil. But if you don't want it to be so hot, you can take this out and you can take this out. And you'll still have a nice flavor for your stir fry. Now I'm going to mix the soy sauce with the black vinegar, a touch of the sesame oil, and the chili paste because I like the citron spiciness. Now one of the golden rules for cooking a Chinese stir fry is to cook the meat separate from your vegetables. You don't want to mix your raw meat with your fresh vegetables. Because the time in the wok for your vegetables are so brief and so quick, you want to make sure that your meat is fully cooked, but you don't want to overcook your vegetables. Start by heating your wok to medium to medium high heat. And add a little bit of vegetable oil. Canola or safflower or grapeseed is fine. What kind of oil should you not use? Olive oil, because it'll burn. So save your evu for your salads and your dressings and don't stick it in the wok. Now this is one of the best tips for my mom. Pre-season your oil with fresh ginger, fresh garlic, splash of the green onion, that way, your oil will be flavored with all these wonderful seasonings and it will coat your vegetables and your meat evenly. Now, this is my meat which has been marinating for about 20 minutes. It had some soy sauce and fresh garlic. 
stir fry that in your seasoned oil and you'll cook the meat until it's fully cooked through. Now we're going to go through a similar process, turning my heat to medium to medium high. Put in a little bit more oil. Now the downside with cooking with eggplant is that it tends to soak up all of your oil. As much oil as you put in here, it will soak it all up. Now add your eggplant. And then I'm going to add my seasoning mixture. And my red peppers. And mix the chicken back in. Mmm. So this is my family homestyle recipe for Chinese chicken eggplant. Spicy. I'm Natalie King, Chinese Southern Belle. See y'all later. 再见. Light sure.